Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to the Food Binder and Happy New Year. Today I'll be sharing my recipe for mac and cheese that I made for Christmas. It's one of my favorite recipes and it's fairly simple to make. So let's get started. First, I preheated my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit since I will be baking the mac and cheese. Then I cooked 16 ounces or one pound of dried elbow pasta. And make sure to cook the pasta one minute less than what is stated on the package because it will be cooked more in the oven. After that, I drained the pasta and then set it aside. Next, I melted a half cup of butter in a large pot over medium heat. After it's melted, whisk in the flour and cook it for one minute. Slowly whisk in the whole milk and heavy cream. Continue stirring until it is smooth. Just let the sauce thicken, which will take around 2 minutes or more. After it has thickened, remove the pot from the heat. And here I'm stirring in the salt, pepper, and paprika. Then I added in the cheddar and gruyere. I added in the cheese gradually so that the sauce doesn't clump up. Additionally, I highly recommend shredding the cheese by yourself because pre-shredded cheese has a coating which will make the sauce clumpy. Then fold in the pasta and bacon. together some panko breadcrumbs, butter, and salt. Moving on, I poured in half of the pasta into the dish I was using, then I sprinkled on one cup of cheddar and a half cup of gruyere. Then I added in the rest of the pasta and topped everything off with the remaining cheese and breadcrumb mixture. Finally, bake it for 15 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit until the cheese is melted and the top is crispy and golden brown. And that's it. This mac and cheese is definitely a great recipe to make for any occasion, and I hope you give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.